Greetings and welcome to our latest transmission sent direct from the beating heart of this internet. The one remaining open channel where information can travel free from filters and barriers. Today's story, as a shadowy spectre hangs over our ability to access and assess the facts, is an honest media the force that can free and restore balance and peace in this far reach of the galaxy? The battle has shifted at light speed to cyberspace where rebel journalists have made the jump to hyperspace, challenging the establishment's grip on information and are now being pursued by its sinister agents. To learn more of what's happening, we're set to bring in figures on opposite ends of the spectrum. Thus, we welcome our first journalist at hand, WikiLeaks founder, rebel publisher, Julian Assange. Mr. Assange, good to have you back on the show. Robert, it's good to be heck. I mean back. Hello. Tell us, what's happened since last we spoke? Well, WikiLeaks has continued to deliver masterstrokes. For speaking more truth to power than all papers combined, we've been ostracized and greatly maligned by the lamestream media where bulls are sadly lacking and seen the state's haranguing of alleged whistleblower Bradley Manning. I've been under mansion arrest, tagged by Serco, then the bastards imposed an extrajudicial embargo, cutting off our PayPal donors and credit card flow. Why? Have you broken any laws or been charged? No, but a secret grand jury has issued a sealed indictment saying I'm aiding the enemy. They're seeking to extradite me. I'm confused. Who is the enemy? Clearly, since WikiLeaks aids democracy, the enemy is the people. You and me. Okay, to compare to this, we turn to another Australian journalist. His media empire spans the equator, influencing every one of us in the world. It's the Emperor of News Corps, Rupert Murdoch. Hello, Robert. Tell us your take on journalism. It's like playing Monopoly against the world and winning. You buy up all the real fourth estate, the times, the sun, the sky, and many stars are all mine. I expand my news of the world order patiently now my death star stations are fully operational you've changed the face of the news with tabloids pay tv i foresaw that by putting titties on page three amidst a chronicle of crime sports and inanity scandalous spam which the proles soak up avidly my empire would expand globally spreading the fear giving me the power to make or crash political careers both of you have transformed journalism's focus by exposing secret dealings or by keeping truths in closed though can you explain why one of you is a rich media mogul while the other is hunted like a criminal Interloper? In 03, the media were feeding us lies about WMD. WikiLeaks is here to ensure history won't repeat. We publish truth instead of lies. That's certainly why we're being persecuted. We're doing journalism right. You will pay the price for your lack of television. You're headed straight for an American prison. Journalists, take a good look at this rebel fool. What's happening to him soon could happen to you. If you strike me down, the movement you're attacking will become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. This generation is burning the mass media to its foundation. Truth is a virus and courage is contagious. Uh, 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 you can't knock me out the fox, but I see that you are still capable of hacks. The Strat 4 leak shows that we are alike. Julian, my son, come over to the dark side. I'm sorry to interrupt this riveting debate, but to learn more of the alleged leaker and his fate, we cross to the Pentagon to learn what's happening at the court martial of Private Bradley Manning. Lord Baxter, my Lord how's the whistleblower? His resistance to the mind probe is considerable. We've threatened Prince. Leaker, but she's telling lies. You transmitted secret plans to rebel spies! I'm not a traitor. If anything, I was doing my duty and it's the war and whistle blows us unconstitutional. I've not sent such a disturbance in the Force Estate since Daniel Ellsberg leaked the Pentagon Papers. Bradley Manning is on the side of the law. Your overconfidence is your major flaw. And your faith in your friends is yours. Ah, shit! Silence! There's a transmission from an Imperial Starship. Admiral Gillard, are you dealing with the WikiLeaks obstacle? Yes, Lord Baxter. I said they're grossly irresponsible and their foundation stone is illegal. And is it? Yeah, no. They're within legal limits, but we could invent some new laws to get them. Not if I can help it. I'm running for the Senate. What? Is this permitted? Well, I, I guess it's... You have failed me for the last time, Admiral Gillard. Enough of this. Send in the sweet troopers. Hello, ladies. Take him to the prosecutor. We have a warrant for your arrest. Don't fight it. What's going on? Assange is being sextradited. Ha <laughs> ha. He'll make a good bride in prison. Hey, this reminds me of my time in Sweden. The rebels are crushed. We've accomplished our mission. The world is asking what will this mean for journalism? We now cut live to a surprise guest to let us know. Wait, is that Julian Assange? No. It's Kristen Fraxen. Hello. A WikiLeaks spokesperson. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Robert. So can you tell us further how these events will affect WikiLeaks' purpose? Recent events won't deter us or stop us. WikiLeaks will continue to publish and encourage the disclosure of truth. 
in spite of the tricks they've chosen to use. Hey Obi-Wan, you're screwed! We'll charge you with fraud! No problem at all. Do you take MasterCard? My, my, WikiLeaks, I'm impressed. Do you have an infinite supply of geeks to invest? Tall guys with fruity speaking accents, deep voiced, white haired freaks? Yes. Okay, thank you all for debating and providing opinions, though it might at times have seemed a bit like science fiction, where it's always much easier to espy the division between good and evil and who is on which side of the schism. But can't a touch of fantasy also help us perceive that our own story has indeed often been about challenging the monopolies and dynasties which have shaped our view of reality for centuries? And so are the fates of Socrates drinking hemlock and perishing, the trials of Bruno, Galileo, book burnings, the Inquisition, all recurring in the current war on journalism, where speakers of truth are censored and imprisoned? Key chapters are being written in this epic saga which will set precedence for centuries hereafter. Join us for more reports as this story continues. Good night and good luck, and may these thoughts be with you.